Hey, what's good with y'all? It's Jericho, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about a realization that I had last night. And this realization was crazy. When I first found this out, I was mind boggled. I got goosebumps, and I was like, dang, that's crazy. So, yesterday, I was talking with God. Yesterday, I was sitting on the floor. Sitting on the floor, right? And while I was sitting on the floor, I was thinking, dang, I talk to God a lot. I was thinking. I was like, I talk to God a lot. I talk to God for eight hours. I pray to God for eight hours every single day. And I work my hardest to talk to Him. And I was thinking, dang, that's a lot of time. Eight hours is a lot of time. But let me tell you a little bit of something about that eight hours. It's crazy to be doing that. And also, you know how I was an atheist slash I hate church. I hated church. And I always found it cringy when people would talk about God and pray to, and tell me to pray about God or pray to God. You know how I used to do that? That's 21 years. I started following Jesus Christ in November of last year, and it's been a whole year. So I've been following him for a year, and you know how I pray to him eight hours a day, talk to him eight hours a day. It's kind of like I am making up for that lost time. I am making up for that lost time that I lost, that I missed with him, without him, that I missed with, that I missed with him, that I missed with him. I'm making up for the time that I missed with him. Eight hours a day talking to him. That's a lot of time. That's a lot of time. And I'm making up for it now. I'm making up for it now. That 21 years that I missed without him. I'm making it up now. I'm showing him now. That I care about him and that I want to care about him. I'm showing him now. I'm showing him. And that's the thing. You got to show up every single day. As long as you show up for yourself and for God, he will continue to bless you. He will continue to give you miracles. He will continue to do the supernatural. Just as long as you keep looking at him. Just as long as you keep focusing your eyes on him. Focusing your attention Focusing your attention. It's crazy. He's the creator of the universe. Creator of the universe. Creator of the stars. Creator of cherubim. Creator of animals. Creator of heaven and earth. Creator of day and night. Creator of everything. He didn't need us. The Lord doesn't need us. But he uses us. He uses us because we choose to use us. He'll go your whole life. He'll go your whole life knocking on the door. He'll go your whole life knock to, knocking on your door. And he, because that is why he is such a gentleman. He is such a gentleman that he'll stay there at your door and just keep knocking and knocking. Until the day you actually open the door and let him in. Until the day you actually let him in. He's going to wait. And that's the thing with the Lord. I know it was hurting him. Seeing that I was. Hated the church. That I hated church. I know it hurt him. I know it hurt him so much. That I used to hate church. Now I love it. Now I appreciate every single second. Now I'm always listening to what the priest is saying. Now I'm always waiting to the day, to the time, to where I get the body of Christ and the blood of Christ. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting. And that's the thing with the Lord. He'll wait for you. He'll wait for you. If you ever felt like people just keep leaving you. 
If you feel like people just keep leaving out of your life, they just keep exiting your friends, your family. And then you think, oh, everybody left in my life. Oh, God may, might, might do the same thing. That's the part where you are wrong. That's the part where you got to understand that the Lord would never leave you nor forsake you. Nor forsake you. He will never leave your side because he is always with you. He is always by your side. He always has your hand. He's always willing to take your hand and take you through that storm. Take you through that storm because he's the one who can rebuke the storm. He's the one who can rebuke the evil spirits, the demons, the devil. He's the only one who can do that. You just have to let him take your hand. And once you let him take, it, take your hand, you're on go. You're on the move. You're gonna keep grinding. You're gonna keep grinding. And it's crazy. I can't believe how much God is in my life. He continues to bless me every single day by waking us up. He blesses us every day by waking us up. By waking us up. He blesses up us every single day. And that's why you have to wake up and say thank you. You have to wake up and say thank you. Yesterday, I, I ran for 20 minutes, bro. The day before that, I did 15. The day before that, I did 8. And now I did 20 yesterday. I was outside for 20 minutes. Grinding. Exercising. I'm too fired, but I'm not fired by myself. I'm fired because the Lord allowed me to exercise. He allowed me to go outside there and exercise. He gave me the He gave me the chance. He gave me the chance, and I took it. I took it, and I ran with it. <laughs> I ran with it. I'm saying, bro. We got to all believe in God. We got to all see his ways. For his ways are greater than our ways. For his plans are better than our plans. For his path is better than our path. He'll wait for you. He is so patient that he will wait for you. He will wait for you. He will understand you. He will choose you, choose you to continue living, to continue to pursue your dreams. He's going to help you with your dreams, but he might give you what you need. You might have so many different dreams that you're just thinking and thinking and thinking of, but the Lord will give you what you need. So what if those dreams that you currently have aren't dreams that you need. What are you going to do then? What will you do? That's where you got to leave it into the God's hands. Into the God's hands. Into God. Into Lord's hands. Into Jesus Christ. Lord Heavenly Father. You have to let it just be in His hands. Just let him take control of your full of your full glory. Give him the glory. Give him the praise. Because he deserves the praise. Creator of the universe, like I said. Creator of the universe. And you got to. You got to. You got to let him know that you care. You got to let him know that you love him. And you got to show him with actions. Show him that you care about him. Show him. For he appreciates that. He, appre he appreciates that so much. Anyway, I'm about to go on my run. I'm going to exercise after this video. Uh, hopefully go for another 20 minutes. You know, go for a little quick run. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to keep going. I'm ready to keep grinding.
You know, and I got to thank God for all this. Thank God for everything that happens in my life. I appreciate him so much. You know, I appreciate so much and I let him know of that. Through my actions, through my words. I let him know. Anyway, that's enough for me. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I thank y'all. Peace.